Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. It is your boy, Peasy. <laughs> what I got for y'all today is something a little bit new, um, a little bit different. I thought we'd jump into a quick game, a quick live comm sort of thing, and use a weapon that we haven't used before, you know? Something, keep things fresh, keep it interesting. Ah! Ah! Ooh, where'd he go? And just see how we can do, man. So this time around, we're going with the uh, the Pytech, the Pytech. I don't know how you say it. Whatever. This Russian weapon, this Russian LMG. That um, it's a, it's an elite variant. Which one is this? The uh, ah, got him. Okay. It is an elite variant. The X. No, it's not the exploit. It's the loophole. There it is. That's what it's called loophole and it's pretty I've always enjoyed the Pytech actually like I never in any previous Call of Duty I never enjoyed any of the LMGs at all whatsoever but in this one man I'm feeling the Pytech I'm all about that life I'm digging it man and look at it we're just putting it work oh baby <laughs> so oh okay I'm coming for you your boy's coming, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got me, dude. Oh, man. Anyway. So, what I have on this thing, I think I have foregrip, quick draw, and advanced rifling. I think that's what I got on here. Dang. I wish I had stock, though, so those closer gunfights, I could, uh, I could make up the difference for that between the... The movement speed, ah, the movement speed with the LMGs and assault rifles and, or should I say, the BALs and the ASMs that everybody else is using. But you know, we're actually not doing too bad so far. We're what? What are we at? Six and two? Not bad, not bad. For TDM, and everybody's camping all the freaking time. Ooh, system hack though. I don't like that system hack though. Ooh, ah. Oh. Ooh, get him. Ah, give me those kills. No, 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 no. <laughs> so how's y'all weekend doing, man? Let me know in the comments section. Hopefully it's still weekend by the time I get this uploaded. It's Sunday right now. So as I'm recording it, it's the weekend. Oh, what? What? No. No, 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 no. Y'all saw that, right? Like, I stomped. I it made the noise. Man, that's some crap. Oh my gosh. So we're falling off now. Uh, but yeah, I've had a great weekend, man. Friday? Let me start with Friday, man. Friday, I was working, of course. But while I was working, the Supreme Court was hard at work making constitutional things constitutional as per the law. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, a lot of you probably don't, actually. If, because if, you don't, if you're not directly affected with it, if you don't have family members who are of the uh, L LGBT community, which is um, lesbian, bisexual, gay, and or lesbian, gay, bisexual, whatever, that sort of thing, uh, and, and trans, if you're not directly involved with the community, you probably don't know much about it if you don't have family or friends who are of that, um, of that preference, you probably don't know. So the Supreme Court on Friday made gay marriage lawful under the Constitution, which, you know, who knew that freedom of marriage in a country that was based on uh, religious and social freedoms that that would be constitutional who would have guessed it <laughs> but that was good man I'm, I was super pumped about that I'm happy for all my friends and family who are now able to someday if they choose legally be married and have rights to their family members have legal rights to their family members to be able to take care of them and make decisions for them should they not be able to um, so that's exciting. And then also, we went to a concert on Friday, my wife and I. We took her to a Lindsey Sterling concert. She really loves her. Um, if you don't know who Lindsey Sterling is, man, she's a violin player, but she writes all her own stuff. She um, d And she writes it over like a dubstep, uh, electronic music sort of thing. And it's really awesome. It's really got awesome music. All of her stuff is really great. And um, she's actually a really great performance artist as well. Like she dances while she's playing violin. I know. I can never play violin, but while she's doing it, she dances around and everything. She's like ballet, hip hop dancing, all that kind of stuff, and it's really, it's really incredible that she's <laughs> she's able to play that way. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty sweet. There we go. Got that 
That boost slam. That dirty kill. Ah! But that was really awesome, man. It was kind of a surprise thing. Uh, I didn't know, even know she was playing, but I did know my wife loved her. And I saw, I got an email, a spam email, actually, that was like, hey, get your tickets before it's too late. She's playing. And I was like, oh, sweet. When's she playing? And it was like, tonight! <laughs> um, on Friday. And I was like, dang! So, picked up those tickets, man. It was like 20 bucks. They were lawn seats and everything, but it was a good show, man. I'm glad we went. My wife was happy, and so I'm happy, you know? Um, and then yesterday, I'm a big basketball fan. Let me preface, preface, preface the story with that. I was invited out to the Palace, which is where the Detroit Pistons, my team, plays um, for a private tour. So we did that. And while we we got there a little bit early, while we were waiting for the tour to start, they actually, oh, this, the head coach Stan Van Gundy walked up um, with two of the new draft picks, two of the new draftees. The, NBA draft was just this last week, if you guys are unfamiliar, if you don't know, you don't follow it, it's all good. But he walked up with two of the new draft picks, I guess they were getting, picking up their first bit of Pistons swag. So they were they were at the store, the Pistons store, ow, what? What are we doing, 26-11, it's not bad. Um, so we got to see them, that was pretty sweet. And then when we actually went on the tour, we got to see uh, like the President's Lounge, the VIP Lounge. Uh, we got to see everything from the very top of the arena, which is really awesome. Um, they took us down to the court, so we got to see like how how it looks for the players when they're playing, and, which is really bright down there, man. I can't imagine playing under all those lights and everything, but that's what they practice with, I guess. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, oh, excuse my nose, itchy. And they took us down to the locker room, which is really awesome. You know, not a lot of people get to see that firsthand. Uh, you see pictures, you go on internet and Google it and everything you get to see it but not a lot of people get to actually experience that firsthand um, so I'm really appreciative for that it was a really awesome experience and I actually got to sit Andre Drummond is my favorite Pistons player um, closely followed by Brandon Jennings if you guys are familiar with the two I don't know but uh, I got to actually sit in Andre Drummond's chair at in the locker room which is really awesome man his jersey was hanging up I got a picture um, my wife took a picture of that which is really sweet so um, if you want to see that picture man go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you're not already it's just at pzinc same as the channel name p-e-e-z-i-n-k oh, man the range on this thing is, is beautiful and it's even better on the exploit man just I love this weapon it's sweet oh, oh my nose is itchy Sorry about that. But yeah, basically, my weekend's been freaking awesome so far. I did end up have, getting like a headache yesterday. Oh, and I got to have dinner with my dad yesterday too, which is really awesome. He just moved to Utah, and uh, he was back in town for to get his stuff moved. So I got to see him, have dinner with him. It was really great. Always, always love seeing my dad, man. It's, it's important to be close with your family, guys. Important stuff. But, uh... Oh, dang it. <laughs> but yeah, man, let me know in a comment... Oh, we're losing by one. But I still lost. Uh, I don't want to lose. Crap. I think we're going to lose this match. No! Pick it up, teammates. Oh, they're going to they're gonna get us right here. I can't see the score, but I got a feeling. That's it. Dang, we lost by five. Oh, well, you can't win them all, especially when you can't rely on your teammates. But like I said, guys, let me know how your weekends was in the comment section down below. We'll talk about that. This guy's got that YouTube gaming uh, emblem right there. That's pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, please leave a like if you did enjoy this. If you liked the exploit, or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the exploit, the loophole, the uh, PyTech loophole. I'll actually, hold on, I'm going to show you guys my class setup real quick. So if you're interested in seeing that. Uh, I actually have gotten a couple people hit me up like, hey, show me, let's uh, do a do a class setup video. So um, I'm not going to go through all my classes, just this one. Um, and it is right right here. So, uh, yeah, it's a loophole. So you see it's got plus one accuracy, plus two magazine size, minus three mobility. Um, I got quick draw, foregrip, and advanced rifling, lightweight, blind eye, toughness, blast suppressor, 
Uh, I'm surprised I'm not running low profile. I, I usually run that on my classes, but whatever. Um, UAV with faster time and threat detection, system hack with exo disable, and a goliath, which unfortunately I wasn't able to get in this gameplay, but like I said, you can't win them all. So guys, if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. It helps keep me motivated. If you, ha if you enjoyed yourself, man, check out some of my other videos and subscribe. If you do, man, if you're new, welcome to Team Inc., guys. I really appreciate it. Like I said, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me pumping out these videos. Um, and man, I'm really excited for the future, man. Black Ops 3 and all that. I'm really excited to see where we can take this channel, where, where we can take this thing um, and interact with you guys. I stream as well. So, follow, like I said, follow me on Twitter so you know what I'm streaming, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cut this off. So, thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you for making me part of your day.